when I say scalability, what comes to mind? A mountain, maybe? Weights and measures, perhaps? Your next IoT design? Well, maybe not. Unless you've got your security and connectivity plans pre-baked into the design, good old Mount IoT might not be so scalable after all. Hi, I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Chalk Talk. When it comes to scaling your next IoT design, your choice of a development kit makes a huge difference. But way before scalability is an even bigger critical issue, we need to consider ease of use, cloud connectivity, and security for our newly minted idea, right? In this episode of Chalk Talk, Julie Ann Baker from Microchip and I discuss how the Microchip Pick IoT WG Development Board will not only help you scale your design to production, it might also help you get that idea off the ground in the first place. And before we get started, don't forget to click that link. There you can find even more information about the Microchip Pick IoT WG Development Board. Hi, Julianne. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, Amelia. I'll be giving you an overview of the Pick IoT WG Development Board, covering things like industry trends, where the board works best, and what makes the board a great fit for secure IoT applications. Excellent. Well, since we are talking about IoT today, Julianne, any discussion about IoT would be completely amiss without security. Now, I have seen the demand for secure IoT nodes increase dramatically recently. Do you agree with this? And why do you think that is? Yes, absolutely. The need to have security on a network is vitally important due to the financial and brand risk involved if you don't protect you or your customer's financial or personally identifiable information. What we know is even for the simplest IoT devices, security is a must as these internet connected devices provide a potential entrance for malicious entities to enter your network. The demand for IoT nodes has risen dramatically, as you can see on the chart, which shows about a decade's worth of information. The red portion of each bar represents the shipment of secure IoT nodes versus the unsecure in blue. Secure nodes will make up the vast majority of IoT nodes going forward. We are constantly reminded of the security breaches that are coming faster and faster and are impacting larger groups. These breaches have significant financial and brand impact for those companies involved. One interesting example of an IoT node security threat was a simple fish tank thermometer that was hacked to gain access to a casino network. The fact is, the value of the IoT thing itself might be low, but the network it's connected to can provide access to much more valuable things. Absolutely. So, Julianne, what kind of applications are you seeing these secure nodes play an important part in? There are many IoT applications, everything from smart home to smart city, medical and industrial. More specifically in the home, we are commonly seeing smart appliances, climate control, intelligent lighting, and access control, just to name a few. For PIC MCU-based devices, there is a huge installed base in homes and cars. These nodes are now connected, and you can use remote command and control by phone or tablet so you can adjust your thermostat, manage access control, and check surveillance in your smart home. Some additional IoT application examples include smart cities for industrial sensors like air quality, traffic forecast, and real-time transportation updates to avoid traffic jams and to snag that one open parking space. For health, you can check blood pressure and heart rate for health monitoring or sports activities. Industrial process control applications require the close monitoring of variables for level, pressure, temperature, flow, etc. With Internet of Things, sensors enable continuous monitoring and control of these processes. The adoption of Industry 4.0 concepts is growing as industries are realizing the potential efficiency and productivity that can be garnered with applications of the industrial Internet of Things. Okay, so Julianne, where do you see microchip 8 and 16-bit MCUs working best in these applications? 8 and 16-bit microchip MCUs fit where there is a simple application that doesn't require a lot of program memory or the need for an RTOS or multi-core performance. IoT is everywhere and can range from the simple to the complex. 
Microchip 8 and 16-bit MCUs work best in the large blue section of the application's pyramid, where there's a focus on sensors, actuators, and mechatronics. The PIC IoT WG Development Board is designed for simple applications like these, where there are resource constraints and extremely low power requirements. We wanted to keep it simple and easy as possible to get a secure IoT application up and running for this broad application space. Okay, so no design would get off the ground these days without some kind of development board, right? So what kind of rapid prototyping solutions does Microchip have for IoT? Microchip developed the PIC IoT WG development board to specifically address the needs of the low-power IoT market. There's also a version of this board based on the AVR MCU as well. This board comes with smart, connected, and secure components, which I'll cover in a little bit more detail. It also includes temperature and light sensors, an integrated programmer debugger, battery charger, voltage regulator, four LEDs to indicate connection status, and via microbus interface, expansion to hundreds of microelectronica clickboards. This board addresses IoT challenges like low power budgets, communication protocols, security, and easy development. Cool. Okay. So what does this solution really buy me as an engineer? Well, from the smart part of the design, we are using the PIC24 FJ128 GA705 Extreme Low Power MCU. It is compact, has low power sleep current, and 128 kilobytes of ECC flash, expandable up to 256. This code space allows additional sensors or larger application code. So what exactly is this PIC MCU doing in the system? It's really the heart of the board, reading sensor data like temperature and light. It initializes all components, builds a Google Cloud password, encapsulates the data messages, and coordinates all module activity via a simple state machine. The PIC24 MCU is supported in Microchip Code Configurator, which makes setup and accessing the underlying source code very straightforward. Cool. Okay. So, Julianne, what does the connection story look like here? The connectivity on the board is provided by the Wink 1510 wireless network controller, together with numerous other services, including a full TCP IP stack, sockets, transport layer security, NTP, and DHCP. This device connects to the Wi-Fi router, gets the timestamp, opens the sockets, and transfers data. It's an easy-to-use, high-speed, low-power module in a small form factor, helping to reduce buffering needs while storing security certificates. Okay, so let's talk about those security elements found here. What exactly does that look like? On the secure side, the PIC IoT board comes pre-configured and pre-provisioned for the Google Cloud. It is a seamless, out-of-the-box experience. The ATE CC608A takes care of this crypto workload, such as providing a unique serial number, generating a key pair, and storing it securely. The way we are connecting to the cloud is through the JWT, or JSON, web token system. This allows for a simple, easy Google Cloud connection and provides hardware support for a secure connection and key storage. The ECC608 secure element is easy to use, small, and has hardware support for asymmetric sign, verify, and key agreement, as well as hardware support for symmetric algorithms, including SHA and AES. Okay, so how does this solution connect to the cloud? The Google Cloud plays a critical role in IoT applications. It has a strong network of millions of IoT developers around the world. Google was the first choice for a simple connection for the 8 and 16-bit PIC MCUs due to the JSON web token mechanism. Google provides access to AI and powerful data analytics and diagnostics, which help make smarter products. We work with Google so the PIC IoT board was pre-configured and pre-provisioned for easy authentication. There's a public microchip sandbox account where you can visualize your data immediately, and when you're ready, you can migrate to your own private registry. Cool. Okay. So in your opinion, what sets the PIC IoT development board apart from the rest of the pack? The goal when we designed the PIC IoT development board was to make things as simple as possible. We wanted an effortless migration to the cloud for embedded sensors, actuators, and mechatronic applications, and easy development through MP Lab development tools. There's a huge installed base of PIC MCU applications, and for those designers adding secure connectivity, there's now no need to become a networking guru or security expert. The modular nature of the board reduces complexity and makes scale easy. 
The PIC IoT WG Development Board sidesteps the traditional complexities associated with communication protocols, security, and hardware compatibility, allowing you to build your IoT device using a simple plug-and-play solution. Okay, cool. So can this board scale to other application domains? This board can scale to many other applications through the development tools providing automated code development, migration to many more PIC devices, and expansion through Microelectronica clickboards. The PIC IoT board is supported in MCC for full programming and debugging capabilities. This board has virtual comms support so that a terminal emulator can be used for configuring via command line or diagnostic support. You can migrate from the featured PIC device to hundreds of other devices, and you can easily add in additional sensors through the Microelectronica clickboards. We have a few clickboards listed here that might be of interest to you. All right, Julianne, I am excited to get started. Now, how hard is it to get the PIC IoT WG development board connected to the cloud and streaming real-time data? It is very easy to get the board connected to the cloud and streaming real-time data. In fact, it can take just a couple of minutes for this process. This is a preview of the Google Cloud website before you've connected the board. The PIC IoT WG Development Board provides a convenient drag-and-drop programming feature. Once the device is connected to your computer via USB connection, it will become accessible as a flash drive. When the application is compiled, a .hex file is created and it simply needs to be dragged onto the development board to reprogram it. LEDs on the board provide the status of your connection in the system as you move through this process. Once the connection is complete through Wi-Fi, you can see the graph showing light and temp data being sent real-time up to the Google Cloud from your board. The PIC IoT development board makes connecting a node to the internet a streamlined and simplified process. Excellent. This has been super cool, Julianne. So, can you recap your main points for me? Sure. The PIC IoT WG Development Board creates smart, secure nodes through the Google IoT Cloud platform. Because each board has been pre-configured and pre-provisioned, authentication is easy and quick. There's a rapid development using MPLAB Code Configurator, and it's easy to scale with hundreds of Microelectronica click boards. PIC IoT WG Development Board. It's smart connected and secure. Excellent. Well, I think that's all I have time for today. I'm going to click that link and go to mauser.com for the associated page. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining me, Julianne. It was a pleasure speaking with you. Likewise. Thank you, Amelia. And before we go, you didn't forget to click that link, did you? There you can find even more information about Microchip's PIC IoT WG Development Board. For Chalk Talks, I'm Amelia Dalton from eejournal.com. For more Chalk Talks, head on over to the Chalk Talks section of EE Journal. You can't miss it. It's right across the top. Or check out youtube.com slash eejournal.